Hi there and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to see what is SSH. So SSH stands for Secure Shell and it consists, so it's a protocol which consists uh, uh, mainly about uh, getting an access to a um, remote machine and to be able to take uh, the control of it. So this is really, really powerful when you are doing sysadmin, when you are on your own server, because it means uh, that you can uh, you can do whatever you want just thanks to an internet connection or through a cable connection or whatever as far as it's on the same network as uh, as you and take the control of uh, the machine so that's what uh, we're gonna do uh, today so um, in fact here is uh, the screen of another computer that you can see and this screen that you are currently having a look at is uh, the one of a Raspberry Pi. So Raspberry Pi is a really uh, cheap uh, computer, just cost about 25, 35 euro. And in fact, uh, when I'm um, opening up, uh, switching on this computer, you see I get a warning message. And this warning message is just telling me straight away, okay, pay attention because for this given machine, SSH is enabled. So it means that someone from the outside can take the control of uh, your machine. Of course, that's, um, what I wanted for uh, this given uh, tutorial and how did I succeed in activating SSH just because here in the Raspberry Pi you get within the preferences the possibility to play with the configuration and then if you click on interfaces uh, you get the SSH function that you can set on activated in order to open your machine to the network if not you can let it in, in disable so in my case i activated it and then the next thing uh, that you need to do is that you need to know what is the ip address of this given machine and in order to do so uh, you need to type uh, if config and then if config will give you uh, the ip address by which this given machine is recognized on the network and once uh, you know that then um, you are able to uh, to play with it. Um, I would like as well to show you that I don't have here um, an app which is called uh, GIMP that I will try to install just by using SSH. Okay, so as you can see, GIMP is not here, and I will try to show you as well how you can uh, write some file on the desktop. So now I'm gonna go back on my on my screen uh, of the, my laptop, and then I'm gonna connect in in SSH. So. Um, just gonna exit here, exit because I already made it. Um, so in fact, the IP address of my Raspberry Pi is the following one, and I know the user of this uh, Raspberry Pi because it's the default one, which is Pi. So here I'm using SSH. Then I'm saying that I'm gonna connect to the Raspberry Pi by using the username which equals to Pi, and then here is the uh, IP address on which the machine is accessible on the uh, on the network. So I press this and then I need to enter the password that I just uh, did. And now I get an access to the machine. I can double check that out because as you can see, um, it's uh, it's working, okay? I get a username which is totally different. So uh, let's imagine that I would like remotely to install GIMP, for example, on the Raspberry Pi. All I will need to do is just a sudo uh, apt install and uh, look for GIMP. Does it? Okay, let's go for GIMP. Okay, so it's gonna install um, it's gonna install games and I'm gonna wait a little bit because it's uh, it's not that big. It should be uh, soon be installed. Okay. Okay, and I can maybe switch now to the other uh, machine. So that was that's the other machine. And uh, here, as you can see, I can uh, look over here. If I just type GIMP, as you can see, it's not installed, so it's not uh, reacting yet. And the reason is that actually, as you can see, it's not installed at all. Okay, it's still at uh, 99%, so that's the reason why it's not yet installed. But now it's installed, so if I move back uh, over here, and if I type GIMP, wow, now it's installed. So that, that's great. It means that remotely I was able to install Kim 2.10 uh, to this machine, whereas I did not have uh, an access to it, let's say. I just did it everything through SSA. So that's why SSH is really, really uh, powerful. And um, 
what could I show you as well? So I'm gonna move back to my uh, to my screen over here, and uh, let's imagine, for example, that I would like to access to the desktop, and on the desktop, I would like to create a folder. This folder will be named I don't know, like um, whatever I want. Let's call it empty, and within empty, I want to create a file which will be hello.html that within this uh, given um, hello HTML file I want to just write like a hello world thing I could just do something like hello hello world and then I could uh, save it I could quit it and now if I move back on my on my screen uh, just by magic oops can see that a new folder appear it's named empty within it i get a file which is named hello.html and if i open it up if i'm lucky enough i should have a file which is named hello world okay so as you can see ssh allows you to take the control of a remote machine it's really powerful and that's why it's uh, it's so great hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching